Investigation is underway after someone at a Portland park found dog kibble that they think may have been mixed with poison. We're told a pet owner made the discovery last week at Mount Tabor Park before reporting it to their vet, who then called park rangers. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us live from the park tonight. Jeffrey, what can you tell us? Well, Nora, when we originally came down here earlier on in the day, we were surprised to find out that a lot of people already knew about this, as apparently it's been blowing up on social media, and they're thankful to be aware, as many people come here to Mount Tabor Park to uh, walk, run, and play with their pets. It's scary, because this is our backyard. Even on a dark and rainy Monday night, Mount Tabor Park was full of people out and about with man's best friend. So many people walk their dogs here. <laughs> Yeah. Many were left with questions after park rangers say a pet owner made a disturbing discovery last week. Why would you want to hurt people's dogs? I, I, I just don't understand it at all. I mean, there's a special place for people like that. Park rangers say they're investigating after finding suspicious looking colorful pieces of something mixed in with dog treats on the ground. The investigation comes after rangers were called by a local veterinarian's office. That vet said a patient in their office who made the discovery told them they think those colorful pieces could be rat poison. So if she were to eat something like that and she's 10 pounds, like that would kill her pretty fast. I don't think I'd be able to even get it to the vet in time. Now, we don't know exactly where the dog treats were found, and due to the sheer size and nature of the park, they'd be difficult to pinpoint. But needless to say, due to the uncertainty of it all, dog owners are a bit concerned. Dog owners have to be extra aware of their surroundings, unfortunately. Everyone at Tabor is always so friendly. It's hard to imagine like somebody intentionally doing that. I shouldn't have to be cautious when I'm taking my dog for a walk at the park. You my bet. dog is the love of my life. If anything happens to him, it's like, it's as if he's our kid. And I think a lot of people think that way about their dogs. She's like a little fuzzy child, you know? Again, it's unclear right now what was mixed with those dog treats. Now, Bick does hope that if this continues, the culprit is eventually caught, maybe on camera. She also encourages people to say something if they see something, as maybe it will save an animal's life. Live here in Southeast Portland and Mount Tabor Park, I'm Jeffrey Limblum for Fox.